Hello YouTube, my name is Legend of DS and welcome to a predictions video in a way. Yeah, it's more of a predictions video. No, it's more of a question. No, it's it's predictions, it's predictions. It's, it's a video that I had a little bit of a weird way to try. Not not a weird way, not the easy way to find an intro. So but anyway, this video obviously as it says on the title is that's more of a speculation video now I think about it. Anyway, is can Nintendo achieve those 20 million shipped units between March, uh, April 1st, 2018, and April, f and March 31st, April, uh, April 2019? Jesus, what the hell is wrong with me? It's probably because it, I've been awake for 30 minutes. Anyway, um, the recent financial quarter, uh, Nintendo gave that gave out some information, obviously, about the Nintendo Switch, and in the first quarter of the new financial year, the Switch shipped 1.88 million which is a good number it's pretty good and Nintendo obviously kept their baseline the same of doing the 20 million uh, but overall compared to 2017 it was down by five percent now obviously Nintendo did say that the switch was gaining momentum after e3 but the question still remains will there be a 20, uh, a 20, a big, uh, oh, not a big, will they reach a 20 million? So I was looking around and looking at the ship numbers and all that, and looking that in Japan, for example, the, the Switch seems to be flattened out. It's still going the same way and selling about the same as last year. Obviously, right now it's selling less, mostly because last year we had Splatoon 2 around this time. But assuming, this is an assumption, that, uh, but obviously we just got NPD numbers, just saying for June, where the Switch sold double what it sold, not double, 50% more of what it did last year. So obviously it shows that momentum is there, and if July comes out and it's a big year for Switch, then it's our big month for Switch, then most likely the momentum will keep going. Also, by the way, should mention this, congratulations for Octopath Traveler. The game has now been confirmed to have shipped 20 million plus, 20 million, 1 million plus digital. Uh, so very good speaking of digital this is something I should have mentioned before regarding my giveaway the one that I did the last month or ended last month I should have really said this before but you know I forgot uh, not really forgot the guy technically speaking told me not to say his name but there was a winner and the giveaway has been given out or the, the given to the guy I completely forgot I even tweeted out that he won with his name and telling him to contact me if he was still interested and then he did and said for me because he didn't want his name out there so I had to remove him and then I forgot to, re to, to tweet again that like yeah it's done it he there's a winner the giveaway has been given and I forgot to mention in the videos but anyway continuing on again as uh, I was in the the yeah assuming that last year's numbers uh, we have the similar drop as we had for this quarter the last quarter and it's a 5% drop the switch will then sell 2.78 or ship 2.78 million so having the 278 shipped means that of the 18 million counting the two uh, quarters that we have and with with two quarters to go or half of the year done the switch would have shipped or, or would need to ship 15.34 uh, million sh units for the rest of the year now here's the thing the holiday season the final three quarters of the of the the final quarter of the year between October, uh, quarter three between October and of and December the switch I think personally is gonna do better than last year and I think this is very clear last year it did seven million seven point twenty three million and that was with basically just Super Mario Odyssey uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and uh, Fire Emblem Warriors are very niche games and we also have we had no promotions for Black Friday, very little promotions for a holiday. So it selling 77.23 million was a big deal, but still um, not as much as a Switch could have done. So this year, assuming well, not assuming, we have two big games in Let's Go and um, and um, Smash Brothers Ultimate. By the way, on the whole sma uh, uh, Let's Go controversy, it's a little ridiculous that people are complaining that they're making catching Pokemon easier. From what I understand, that was the big the deal that uh, Masuda was talking about. I believe it was Masuda, and people took it completely the wrong way. Also, but the people uh, were uh, afraid that it might interfere with the mainline series. 
let me tell you something very clear. Pokemon only has one mainline series, but Mario and Zelda have two mainline series. Just because something is a mainline series does not mean it doesn't happen in other things. Just because the 2D Marios are successful does not mean that the 3D Marios don't continue to be successful. And the same thing can be said of it, and there's another, and there's a big discrepancy between the two. Unless there's like a difference, like there is in in Mario or 2D and 3D. That's like the 2D sold 20, 3 million, and the 2D, the best one of the 3D, which were better games, sold 12 million. And that's not going to happen with Pokemon. And to the people expecting them to either kill off the main series or make the main series more like Let's Go, unless Let's Go sells three times as much as the main as the main series of 2019 that ain't happening that, that only happened with with mario once or well twice once on the home console that's beside the point uh, so with those two games plus mario party which is a much big it's a bigger deal than the other two of xenoblade and and um fireman warriors which is the same for xenoblade not as much for for fireman warriors but still uh, there's a big discrepancy, not a big discrepancy, but there's two 10 million plus potential sellers. One of them is a guarantee, the other one is a potential one, we don't know how much. And then we have a multi-million seller in Super Mario Party. Then obviously we can have bundles this year, and it could easily be like Black Friday deal, Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild bundles for 300, and people are going to eat it up. And it's obviously going to sell more, so going in with um, a potential increase, I think that 10 million... For the holiday season is a lot but that still makes it very hard for the switch to to build and build up so here's the thing for the switch to sell 20 uh, 10 million in the holiday season is going to need a 10 percent inc or 40 percent increase i should say over the last year's 7.23 million which is very much possible uh, i know it sounds crazy but it does it is possible uh with the uh, smash pokemon potential black friday breath black friday and holiday deals um the Mario Party and we don't even know everything it's good to remember that they could easily have a Nintendo Direct which I'm predicting is gonna happen this month and carry more and more and even the Nintendo Direct in November which again I think it's gonna happen and carry even more momentum E3 helped momentum a lot for the switch uh, so that's 40% increase then that still leaves us with a 50 uh, 5.34 million uh, potential sales obviously that's a 10 million exact which is not going to happen but if the switch does increase 53% of what it did last year or roughly 53% the switch then would would sell 11 million which would then allow it to, to have 4.34 million and obviously 66% increase would leave to 12 million which is insane and highly unlikely but those three are the numbers I'm gonna go with with the 10 11 and 12 million I should have done 9 million as well now that I think about it but if, if 9 million was in here 9 million then would be a, a 6% uh, increase which then roughly would translate to almost 100% to the increase of final quarter which was that I was gonna talk about so assuming these numbers are possible 9 10 11 and 12 I didn't have 9 but I'm, I can just include it in here um, the switch then needs if it sells 9 million it, it will need 6.34 million for the final quarter 5.34 uh, million for uh, if it sells 10 4.34 million if it sells 11 and 3.34 million if it sells for the uh, final quarter of the year to sell if they want to reach the 20 million mark now all, all of these are very complicated well maybe apart from the 30 the 3.34 million in case of the 12 million because there's one thing people keep forgetting and I don't see many people talk about is that we don't really know what's the first game of 2019 we don't know the 2019 lineup we know Yoshi supposedly is there we know Fire Emblem is gonna be there we think Metroid and Bayonetta are going to be there. So, and but there's one thing people are not talking about that easily could be announced in a Nintendo Direct, both either in Sept uh, August, September, November. You count it. That is Animal Crossing. If Animal Crossing comes out, I think that any of the three, or any of the four now, well, three because the last one is very difficult, is very unlikely to happen, uh, or high, uh, highly likely to happen. You know, reaching those, those 5 million chips or 4 million chips, 3 million chips, because I did the math. 
If it sells 12 million, uh, it has a 66% increase on the, the, the 7.23 million of the holiday season, it sells 12 million. That leaves it 3.34 million before the final quarter. That's a 25% increase of last year's numbers, which is not difficult, especially with Animal Crossing, if Animal Crossing does in fact come out. Obviously the other two are more, much more difficult with a 60% and a 75% increase over last year's numbers, but with Animal Crossing, anything's possible. That's the thing we need to remember. I see a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people say like, oh, but Animal Crossing is just as big of a seller as Mario is or Zelda is or Pokemon. We need to remember, the games attract different kinds of audiences. Animal Crossing is much more female orientated, so it will bring in more females than a Mario game or a Splatoon or or Zelda. Uh, so can the Switch, the answer of this video was, can the Switch sell the 20 million ship? Can they still do the 20 million ship? And I'm going to say this, it's possible, but highly unlikely. It, it honestly all will come down to the quarter three and quarter, if this, the next three months, the Switch somehow, some way builds momentum, um, it does seem like it might, we need to see the July sales data for uh, NPD because we are seeing J Japan keeping a, a, a baseline that's uh, uh, over what it was last year, but not by too much. I believe it needs to sell roughly 40k a week to stay above last line's year until like the final eight months, uh, eight weeks of the year. Uh, but can it? Again, very difficult, highly unlikely, but very possible. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I have been the Legend of DS. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. That I think it's going to be an interesting one. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.